So important that you're doing a physical warm up, taking care of your body. Here's just a few simple stretches I was doing. Obviously, I did a little bit more than this. And as I go through my session, I stop and do a little bit of stretches as I'm resting and just listen to my body. If you're tight in certain areas, just take the time to stretch. As always, you should be doing dynamic stretching, not static stretching. You'll do static stretching at the end of your workout. The first thing I did was ball control and you guys don't need 20 balls to do these drills. You can use cones and in reality you don't even need cones, you don't even need markers. What's important is when you're doing these drills you're just challenging yourself, you're pushing the speed, you're trying to go faster, you're trying to get yourself out of breath and you're just making the training realistic. Now to start it was just casual, I was just walking with the ball but this is better than just juggling on the spot. This is going to force you to have more directional control and it just makes it a little more realistic. So I just warmed up with the walking juggling and then I went more into running with the ball or moving with the ball quickly. So this is much more realistic. These are touches that you're probably going to have in the game at some point when you're controlling the ball out of the air. So just try to keep the ball off the ground and move quickly, fluidly with the ball. Yes, I'm trying to go in and out of these cones or in this case the balls as the markers are set up there. I'm just running, I'm just having fun with it, but I am using these balls as obstacles to go around. Next I went into dribbling and this is where I really want you guys to start pushing yourself. So you're doing these drills. To start I'm just going to focus on my right foot, then I'll move to my left foot and then I'll use both feet. But when you're doing these it's so important that you're pushing the pace. If you're not losing the ball every once in a while, if you're not running into cones and losing control, then you're probably not going fast enough. So yes, this is great for improving your dribbling and your touch, but it's also going to be a great form of fitness. So when I'm doing these drills, I'm just going as hard as I can, as quickly as I can, while keeping good control for about 30 seconds. Then I'll stop and I'll rest. I might just get a quick sip of water, might do a little stretching or just juggle the ball on the spot and focus on my breathing as I recover. And then I'll get ready to go again for another 30 seconds. You should be out of breath. You should be losing control of that ball. It should be difficult. If you make your training difficult, then the game is going to become easy. Using the same markers, I put the ball away and I just focused on doing a little bit of fitness and some speed and agility work. So I'm just running at any ball and I'm focusing on quick cuts and changes of direction. Sometimes I'll get around them, sometimes I'll just get away from them with a quick cut. Just make sure that when you are changing your direction, you're really focusing on bending your knees and being explosive with that first step out of the change of direction. The last thing I did was some shooting and here I'm just dribbling at a cone and I'm cutting away at the last second and getting my shot off. So the reason I want you guys to practice shooting in something similar to this fashion is because it's more realistic. You're dribbling, you're cutting away from the defender and then you're adjusting your body, your footwork to finally get your shot on net. If you're just practicing dead balls or you're practicing running in a straight line and shooting, that's great. But the truth is, it's not realistic. It's not what you actually do in the game. So think about dribbling with speed, making a sharp cut, getting away from the defender at the last second, adjusting your body, focusing on your technique, and getting your shots on net. After you hit that shot, you can jog back to your ball and just go to the next one and get a little fitness out of the process as well. Now, if you only have one ball, it's going to be a lot of running. So I suggest you start building up a little collection. I've just built up a collection of balls over the years, and honestly, the more balls you have the better it is for your shooting training so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please please give me a thumbs up give me a like it really helps me grow my channel make sure you share this video with your friends and teammates and come back tomorrow for another training video i'll talk to you guys real soon